Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WooCommerce Team Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to register the header and the footer menu and how to display the uh, site title, tagline and the custom logo. And in this video, we're going to learn about how to display the uh, menus onto the front end. So this is where we were at in the previous video where we were where we had the header menu available here. So if we just go ahead and print it out, you'll notice that we've got the entire header menu available over here. So we're just going to loop through it. First of all, let me go ahead and um, pretty print it. So let's say pre tag. Okay, there you go. That's the menu, right? So we're going to loop through it. I'm going to get rid of this for now. And over here, uh, we've got different menu items. As you can see, we've got a tag, right? And then these are the ones that are available. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of this and just keep one of them because we want to loop through it. Okay like so and then there you go okay so this is the menu item I want to loop through so what I'm going to do is I'll check if header menus is not empty header menus and is array header menus okay then oops for each header menus as header menu I want to just print this out so I'll say in fact I think I can do sprint f here yeah and then I can just paste the HTML, the entire HTML, and then just replace whatever I need to. So what do I need to replace here? So I need the menu name, correct? So what I'm going to do is just say, in fact, let's start with the URL first. So this will be percentage one dollar s, and this will be percentage two dollar s. And in place of the percentage one dollar s, we need to replace that with the URL. So let's see what we have available. So you've got the URL here, right? So I'm going to say header menu. Okay, and uh, you, of course you have to escape URL, right? So header menu, and then because this is an object, you can directly access it like so. URL and then the second parameter you might as well break them into multiple lines so it's easy for you to read okay right so the second parameter will be escape HTML and that will be the label for the menu so where is the label so that's a title actually right so we'll say header menu and then title okay I'm just going to organize this a bit perfect of course you have this will be printf and not sprintf okay so we'll just change this to and now if you go back and refresh there you go you can see that you've got your menu items here if you go to customize you can see that these are the menu items you can change their location as well uh, change their position and now you can see that it's changed all right, so this is your menu items. And now let's also get the footer in place. So I'm going to go over here, just grab my footer, inspect element, and then I'm going to grab this element from here, copy the element, and then I'm going to close all of this for now. And then, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the footer, and inside of the footer, I'm going to paste my stuff here okay 
So this is basically just a markup to organize this a bit and go back and check. I should be able to get the footer down at the bottom. Of course, uh, it's not applying the style right now because I need to run the webpack. So I'll go to assets to npm run dev. And this is going to ensure that it's going to check what HTML classes is going to check what classes have been used in this footer.php and it's going to go ahead and output those classes for our tailwind. So once this is built, as you can see, it's that's done. If I go back and refresh, there you go. You can see that all the tailwind classes have been applied, which is awesome. Okay, so you've got these, all of these things available here. We'll come back to that. We won't worry about that just yet. And we're just going to add our menus here. Okay, so similarly, I'm going to go to header nav.php. I'm going to copy this set of code. I'm going to copy this bit of code and then I'm going to paste it over here and then we'll rename the header once to the footer. So this will become footer. Okay, and I'm going to get the footer menu over here and I'm just going to loop through it and display the menu items. So I'm going to do a ULLI. I'm going to remove this and same thing. I'm going to copy this bit of code so I don't have to go ahead and uh, repeat myself. Just copy this here and then paste it. There you go. Just replace this header with footer. So header, header, should be footer. All right. And then refresh, there you go. You've got the menu items, but I just have to fix this. So this is gonna be, I think it'll be better to put them inside of an li tag. Okay, like so. Okay, and then should be, this should be wrapped inside of a ul. So I'll do UL, paste that there, refresh, there you go, you've got the uh, menu items available here, which is great, just need to color them up, so text white, just refresh, there you go, you've got your menu items, on the hover, I would like the text color to be, so I'll go to tailwind, and then I'll check text color, what options do I have? Okay, these are the options that are available. I'm looking for a blue color. Which one do you think will be good? Should we go with this one? I think let's go for something lighter, right? Text blue 400. So let's make this text blue 400. Let's go back and refresh. Yep, there you go. Awesome. We'll worry about the transition and stuff later on, but yeah, we got this um, available. These are the menu items that we have. Okay, so that's how we got the header and the footer. Of course, we don't have the content available just yet, but we're going to do that in the next video. All right, so I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and do start my repository to support my work like all these beautiful people have and uh, do follow me on twitter my twitter handle is coditech all right so i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much mm -hmm.